Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Throne and Liberty is getting a new in-game feature called Tax Transportation. What is this? This is actually PvP caravan system of this game. This is not something new, we have seen this in-game system implemented already in many other MMORPGs, however, this will be a very nice addition to other options how to do PvP in Throne and Liberty. In front of me I have official patch notes, let's call it like that, official information regarding tax transportation system of this game from developers of this game, NCSoft, so let's check the details. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. You can see here I'm already on official website of Throne and Liberty in Korea. Let's check some main information. Actually, there are lots of details how to play this special event in this new upcoming title. Here we have tax transportation. What is tax transit? This is a guild event where the legion transfers the taxes accumulated in villages within its territory to the castle. So basically what will happen here, I can show you right away on this picture the best, legion, that means the guild or guilds, alliance, who is owning stronger castle will transport taxes on a big golem called Titan Golem from this village, Vilenta village. If you are playing Throne and Liberty in Korea, then you are recognizing this part of the map. On the left upper side, you will see Vilenta village and the lower here, you will see Stonegard Castle. So basically what is happening, this caravan is starting to move from Vilenta village and all the way down, they need to go all the way down, that is the main purpose of this caravan, to reach safely the castle. However, like I said, Legion, who is defending the castle, alliances, will defend that taxes, that caravan. However, other guilds who are not defending the castle, they will attack this titan and try to kill it. How to do that? Let's check in details here. So first, let's go here. Let's check what we have here. The Legion must transform into titan cargo and transport the tax containers located in the village to the castle tax manager. It's a long way. Look at this. It's a really long way from all the way up here from Vilenta village uh, to castle, right? It will not be easy task uh, to do that, right? Because imagine this is a really huge opportunity for all other guilds to attack this caravan. Let's see how to do this. Tax transportation progress. If a player within a guardian level or higher belonging to the corpse who will be transporting the taxes transform into Titan Cargo, throughout the Titan Cargo ceiling stone near the tax manager, the tax transport will proceed. So this is that uh, starting location. You can see here basically a little bit outside of Vilenta village. And this is that uh, precious uh, chest which is containing uh, taxes, right? Let's see what we have here. This is uh, that uh, Titan Cargo. If the Titan Cargo contains the tax manager located in front of the castle gate within the time limit, the tax transport will be successful and the town taxes will be transferred to the castle. Item rewards paid as success rewards are distributed to the guild. This is in the case that Titan Cargo manages to reach the castle, right? In that uh, case of scenario. Uh, if a non-corpse forces, that means the forces uh, guilds which will attack Titan Cargo, kills the Titan Cargo, the tax transport will fail and the tax is transported and the reward for killing the Titan Cargo will be distributed to the guild according to their contribution. So taxes and reward will be distributed to guilds which were attacking that Titan Cargo. Uh, regarding the distribution, we need to see how that work out. I have just uh, seen over there in the game uh, in Korea, on Korean servers, there is a countdown. Basically, it's not in a few hours, but very soon this event will start. I will try to play it. I will let you know here on my YouTube channel how it went. But uh, for this evening, I want to show you uh, how is looking this system, right? how it's supposed to look. If the event time limit is exceeded, the tax transport will fail and the tax will be returned to the village. That would mean that neither side have win, basically within limited time frame, right? That means the Titan Cargo didn't reach destination, castle, within time limit, and also that guilds who were attacking Titan Cargo, they didn't manage to kill it. So in that case scenario, tax transport will fail and the tax will be returned to the village.
sounds logical. Titan Cargo is a transport golem that can transport taxes and can use exclusive skills. You can see here a picture, it's looking uh, really good, right? This uh, Titan Cargo and uh, only three skills on the skill bar, which is uh, normal, right? Uh, which this golem can use. If Titan Cargo leaves the event area or disconnects from the world, it will return to the Titan Cargo ceiling stone. Okay, this is logical. So basically, if you leave this area, or if the player who is controlling that golem, if uh, he gets disconnected, in the, that case, you need to start from all over again, from starting position. Oh, this is interesting. So they need to be very careful not to leave this area, right? And not to get disconnected. If you get DC, imagine, imagine when you would be close to the castle, that player who is controlling that golem, right? And you get a DC, you get disconnect. Ooh, that would be so bad, right? Because you would go to the starting position all over again. And there is a time frame which you need to accomplish, right? Within which you need to accomplish your goal. Titan Cargo Ceiling Stone. Basically, this is starting position, right? Uh, outside of Vilenta Village. Players who are not part of the Legion can attack the Titan Cargo Ceiling Stone. Okay, we can see it here. A wooden fence. What is this? This is a barrier that prevents the movement of Titan Cargo. Only by destroying the barrier can Titan Cargo move to next section. Okay, so it's not only PvP. It's not only about PvP. There will be some PvE things to do. So basically, this uh, wooden fence will be on the way. And that legion, which is defending the castle and defending this Titan Cargo, need to destroy this wooden fence so that golem can move forward and also we can see here that golem is actually attacking that wooden fence so one of the skills one of these three skills i assume will be from golem to destroy uh, at least uh, not in one hit for sure right but to be able to destroy this uh, wooden fence what else do we have here sandfire bandits bomb carrier really the bomb carrier inflicts significant damage to titan cargo with its self-destruct skill Okay, this is interesting idea. Another way how to attack Titan Cargo will be to use this Sandfire Bandit's Bomb Carrier. It will inflict uh, lots of damage. Looking really nice, right? Check this out. As spokes of bondage, three wedges restrain the Titan Cargo. Only by destroying the binding wedge can the Titan Cargo move to the next section. So there are some PvE elements in this PvP event, both sides attacking side and defending side we need to strategize a little bit because it's not only about pvp there is also that wooden fence right so they will need to strategize a little bit archeum knight archeum knight inflicts great damage to a titan cargo with powerful attacks you can see here on this picture chaos golem when you're hit by a chaos golem attack the weapon weakening debuff accumulates and can stack up to 10 times this is interesting information. The larger the number of stacks, the more damage you will take from the debuff explosion skill used by Chaos Golem. The weapon weakening debuff can be removed using the player's skills. That is interesting. We can see here fight of the golems. Golem uh, versus golem. And uh, that would be it. That would be it. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, caravan system of throne and liberty like i have said we have seen this system implemented in many other mmorpgs in the past also some new games are getting this in-game system so it's nothing strange it's actually a very good idea from developers of this game to implement caravan system in throne and liberty i'm making this guide just before this event will happen over there on servers in korea i will try to play i'm playing currently on a sota server every evening Check my live streams on Twitch every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time. I'm playing Throne and Liberty on servers in Korea. I'll try to play this event and I will let you know how did it went here on my YouTube channel. For this evening, before we have get first actual gameplay of this event, I wanted to show you how are looking rules, what are the details, how to participate in this really extraordinary PvP event of Throne and Liberty. On the end of this video, I will just shortly mention that regarding global release of Throne and Liberty, sadly, this evening, when I'm preparing this video, there is nothing new from Amazon Games. We still didn't get any kind of new information, nothing regarding release date, regarding the release frame or maybe regarding some beta test for global version of the game when i see any kind of new information regarding global release of throne and liberty or maybe something interesting is happening over there on servers in korea i will let you know about that instantly here on my youtube channel for this evening regarding global release of throne and liberty there is nothing new 
Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.